So I have some vocabulary to talk to you guys about today. This is section 10.4 in your book. I'd like to talk about the difference between common internal tangents and common external tangents first. A tangent line or a tangent segment is a segment that intersects the circle in exactly one place. If it's a common tangent, that means it's going to intersect two different circles in one place. So an internal tangent line will go through the segment that connects the two circles. So if that's our segment that connects the two circles, the common tangent has to intersect both circles once and cross that line. So it looks something like this, and this point right here, and this point right here are called the points of tangency, where that line intersects the circle. If those two circles are already touching, then the internal tangent would just have to go straight between the two of them. If I have an external tangent, then I don't want that line, that tangent line, to go through the centers of the circles, or go through the line that connects the centers of the circles. So that tangent line looks something like this, and if the two circles are intersecting, again, it just looks something like this, and these are your points of tangency. So we have a theorem about the points of tangency. In a plane, a line is tangent to a circle if and only if it is perpendicular to a radius drawn to the point of tangency. So when we use the phrase if and only if in math, we mean that the converse is also true for this statement. If you remember back from the beginning of the year, the converse of a theorem wasn't always true, only special theorems had a converse that was true. So if we're using the phrase if and only if, that's what we're implying, that the converse is also true. So I'm going to show this theorem and write this theorem down two different ways. So the first way is if the line is tangent to a circle. So starting with that. So if a line is tangent to the circle, then it is perpendicular to a radius drawn to the point of tangency. So that means if I already know that the line I have here is a tangent line, then I know when I draw a radius out to the point of tangency, I can mark that as a right angle. The other way, the converse, would say if a radius meets a line at a right angle, so if I know that this segment drawn here is meeting at a right angle, then the line that I have drawn here must be a tangent line. Okay? So if a radius meets a line at a right angle, you guys will have to excuse my handwriting here, then the line is tangent to the circle. This if and only if statement that implies the converse is always true pops up a lot. So if you'd like, math people abbreviate if and only if by using IFF. So you're welcome to use that in your notes if you would like to. So our last theorem is called the two tangent theorem. This says if two segments from the same exterior point are tangent to a circle, then they are congruent. Okay, so that's saying that if I have points here, Let's call this A, that's the point of tangency here. This is the point of tangency here, B, C, and let's call this circle O. This segment, or this theorem is saying that segments AC and CB are congruent. So I'm going to do a very quick proof of this, not the most involved or meticulous proof I've ever done, but I'm going to draw the radii out to the points of tangency. And based on the theorem above, we learned that these are going to be right angles. I'm also going to draw the segment connecting CO. So I've created two right triangles here. I have triangle AOC and triangle BOC. And they're both right triangles because I know that when I connect the radii 
of a circle to the tangent line, it meets at a right angle. I know that AO and BO are congruent because they're both radii of the same circle. I also know that OC is congruent to itself, that's the reflexive property. So I have these two triangles, triangle AOC and triangle BOC, and they must be congruent by HL. That means that AC has to be congruent to CB by corresponding parts of congruent triangles being congruent. That would be the end of my proof. Have a good night.